Hey, it's Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast, episode number 20. I actually looked this time, you guys. Um, for all of you who do not know, I am Holly. Hi. Uh, and welcome to the channel. I hope you enjoy it. You can find me all over the internet at The Proper Pineapple, uh, Facebook, The Proper Pineapple, Instagram, The Proper Pineapple. Um, on Ravelry, I'm Miss or MS Proper Pineapple. And then, of course, there is thepropperpineapple.com where you can find all of my patterns and supplies to making dolls and stuff like that. And if you are a maker or just anybody who needs to get a hold of me for whatever reason, you can email me at thepropperpineapple at gmail. Blech. <laughs> that was a lot of, a lot of stuff. I think I covered it all. Yeah. So, it is the end of April. Actually, by the time this video comes out, it will be already a day or two into May? Yeah, that's the next month. May. Okay. I don't know my months, you guys. Okay. April was crazy for me. It was so, so crazy. As you know, April is my birthday month. And I had all these plans to do all these things on the channel and literally just like ran out of time. So the first weekend in April ended up having to go to Chicago. Well, not having to. <laughs> Enjoyed a wonderful girls weekend with Al. Um, at YarnCon, that was a blast. We come home. The next weekend was the Ann Arbor Spring Fiber Expo. We were there the following weekend. We had plans with my parents for my birthday. <laughs> and then just this past weekend, oops, sorry, I hit the little stack of stuff I have here, was local yarn store day. And me and Al and my entire family, and she brought one of her little bits, went to um, the yarn garden and hang out with Lindsay and AJ from AJHC Wools and it was so much fun and I will talk and show you exactly what I got because I know I didn't really show it really good in the video. I didn't get much but I did. it was a blast. Also this month we did my mystery cal. Here it is you guys it's all finished. Finished. Actually it's been finished forever but like I couldn't wear it. I'm gonna show you. So this was the it's my birthday shawl mystery cal. And isn't it stunning? It is too big to show you all in one frame. But for you to know, you start with this center V here, and then you build this arm. <laughs> I call them arms, this arm or wing. And then you build this wing, and then you do the bottom edge and the border, the border, right? Look at this border, you guys, let me hold it up. Look at it. It is a puff stitch border. It is stunning. I don't mean to sit here and be like, great job, Holly. But it, I really did. Because I, when I, this is not what I had envisioned when I was like, oh, we're going to do a mystery, Cal, and I'm going to write a pattern. This ain't it. I had something completely different. And I sat down to make it, and it didn't work. And then I was in a, like, oh, no, what am I going to do? And I just, this just came to me. Isn't this stunning, though? If you hear any weird noises, it's because a kid just started coming down the stairs. I love wearing it like this. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's so much texture to this shawl. All kind of ribbing and puff stitches. Oh, I love it so, 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 so much. I really, really do. I cannot wait till I can wear it, which now I can wear because the cal is over. But I also like to wrap it around my shoulders. It's so, so pretty. Love you guys. Okay, and I made mine. Uh, it was called for DK weight yarn, but I have seen a couple of people make it with worsted and it made it bigger, which is really fun. They did worsted and a bigger hook size, which is great. I made mine in DK, which is what it was called for. I used paint box yarns, which was 100% acrylic. And when I was making it, now don't get me wrong, paint box yarn was soft, just, you know, straight out the package. It was nice, but it, it was still acrylic. You know how acrylic feels. Uh, but as soon as I was done... I threw this, because it's acrylic, straight into the washer with some fabric softener and then I put it into the dryer with two or three dryer sheets and it came out so like flouncy and like delicate feeling. Amazing. I absolutely, so because I saw you guys, I gotta take it back off again. Some of you guys in the finished objects thread, I saw that this edge up here on either side might be kind of curling in. I'm gonna tell you, throw this in the washer and it like makes everything. Look at how just like flowy this is. Super, super soft, love it. I'm gonna wear this so much because these are my colors, you guys. There's hot pink in here, there's neon yellow, there's other pinks, <laughs> it's just my color. Mr. Pineapple, isn't this shawl me? Mm -hmm. 
It totally does. It makes, and I am wearing a sweater and a shawl around my neck at the end of April, beginning of May, because here in Michigan, the weather was like, ha ha, no, we don't have spring. <laughs> it's just more winter. But anyways. Okay, I've got a ton of stuff to talk to you guys about. And I'm only going to mention one more thing before. Let me cross this because I, I talked about the birthday count. Oh, and the sense, um, I am filming this on... I don't know, I flipped the calendar. But like the third the twenty the thirtieth. I'm filling it on the thirtieth. So as of me filming, there is still time to post your finished objects. Um as of when this video comes out, which I believe will be the second, that will already be closed and I will be picking and announcing a winner. That will be the next video that comes out will be the winner of the MCAL. Actually the two winners because we're gonna pick a winner from the finished object and a winner from Instagram. So stay tuned for that. It will be a video all by itself, okay? So that was that. Got that taken care of. And then also in April, you guys, I got like the most amazing thing happened to me. A couple of people tagged me because Knit Picks, if you guys don't know Knit Picks, they're an online yarn store and they make a bunch of great yarn and I love it. And I just love it. They make this one yarn. I have a skein. I don't know where it is, but I'll talk about why I don't know where it is in a minute. Um, they make beautiful yarn. Anyways, they put out a call for crochet testers because they wanted to start this new crochet line and like me jokingly because I'm like okay millions of people are going to enter this it's nitpicks right so it's like I'll just go ahead and apply well they hired me I like got a legitimate job as a well I'm an independent contractor but I work for nitpicks now which is so so cool um I haven't got my first assignment yet or my first project whatever you want to call it uh, cause it literally just happened like this last week or so I found out. I'm so super excited you guys. So I'm going to get to be testing out their patterns and working with their yarn. It's going to be so much fun. I just think it's going to be a great experience for me. Plus it's like a little job when I don't actually have to leave my house for. So <laughs> because man, if I had to bring the kids to work, woo, no. Okay. So I just wanted to say that before we got on to, I'm crossing it up. You guys I actually wrote a list today in one of my books here. I don't know where I got this book. It says pray more, worry less. I so need to do that. <laughs> but I'm ready. I wrote it down to be like professional. <clears throat> so, um, okay, before I get into my projects, my daughter Starlet has taken up crocheting, like actually trying to complete objects, not just make balls of knots in my house and leave them around for me to step in. So she wanted me to show you some stuff. So everybody be nice to Starlet here. She wanted so she made this cowl. A little trouble getting it together, but she made this lovely cowl. All she did was, um, I believe double crochets. I have no idea how many, and then she just made it until she ran out of yarn because this is a very bulky yarn. So I was very proud of her because she actually finished an object, you guys, which is like crazy. Anybody else who has children that are trying to learn to craft, right? Right? Like balls of yarn everywhere, <laughs> just like sitting around. Like you go to clean the room and you're like, what? It's like a web of yarn <laughs> anyways and then she started another project and she's i let her use one of the bags i made and i'll talk more about my bags later but let her use one of the bags i made oh that's tight and it is this i believe she's just making i really don't know i think it's like a triangle of some sort you guys but she's making this up as she goes all on her own so I am intrigued to see what this is going to turn into. Again, it's bulky weight yarn. Apparently my daughter loves bulky weight. I do not, but she does. So she wanted me to share that with you guys. So that was Starlet's projects of the week. So as far as, am I saying so a lot? Wow. <laughs> that was just like a really weird realization that I was like, so no. Okay. I only have one finished object and it is in oddly ironically my cat bag <laughs> covered in cat hair so this bag you guys know i got from deb over at heavenly textiles i will link her below i'm actually gonna write okay bag <laughs> i'll remember that uh heavenly textiles okay because i am so bad at linking stuff below right <laughs> like just a nightmare i get done with the video and i start to <coughs> upload it and i'm like there's something I was going to link. Eh, could be that important. And then I get like 45 comments because <laughs> so I, I may, I'm going to write them as I go. But anyways, 
I got this from Deb. Isn't this amazing? It's got like sleeping kitties and well, more sleeping kitties. This kitty back here is reading a book. What's it called? Scary cattails. And if like if I don't know how good my camera is, but yes, that is cat hair all over it because Hazel lives here. <laughs> Okay, so in it is my finished object, and it is actually a pattern of mine I just finished writing, and I'm so super excited about it. So, if you guys remember, last year for the Michigan Fiber Festival, I had made this little, like, shawlette. Well, I had intended to write the pattern then. I ran out of yarn and whatever. I, did, I just quickly put it together so I had something to wear to the thing. Well, I finally got around to actually writing the pattern and fixing all the mistakes that I had just, like thrown together and done because that's how I roll here on the proper pineapple. <laughs> so while I was in Rhinebeck back in October, which was awesome. If you get a chance to go to Rhinebeck, totally go and take me with you. But anyways, <laughs> I bought two skeins of dragonfly fibers. Let me put that up there. Come on. There we go. Dragonfly fibers in her, um, her pixie base which was a single ply in the color um district 12. this is fingering weight yarn i got 430 yards per skein i did not use all of my second skein it's actually still tied i gotta cut it but um i did not use all of my second skein i actually used very little of it so you need like one and a half skeins for this and you use a 3.75 crochet hook uh this of course is one of my touche hooks you know, I got these a while ago. You guys, I love them. It's not going to focus on it because it's all shiny. There we go. They're stunning. I love them. And I'll be able to, sh let me show you. Again, it's still attached. I don't know why I didn't tie it off because it's done. All I need to do is block it. Well, weave in my ends and block it. But this is a V-shaped shawl. So it's not a triangle. You don't like start flat and just go down and up. It's a V. You start with like a fairly long chain and then you keep going so that the V kind of like curls up and around. It's a really interesting construction, but this is it. Isn't this pretty, you guys? Oh, okay, so one is a little tiny right now because I need to block it. it. It needs to be blocked, but let me see if I can hold it up. There's a lot of holes in it, so I don't know. So it's a lot of these ridges and eyelets or is what your details are. And then you end with just a teeny little delicate Pico border. It is really stunning. Let me see if I can put it on. Again, it's still attached, so I don't know if I can put it on, but we'll try here. We'll give it a shot. I've done weirder things. <laughs> so you wear it, and it goes around, and this will grow a little because, again, this is super washed, so... Ugh. And I need to block it. But there it is. It's like this beautiful little cowl... Not a cowl, but like a shawlette. And your little ends will they'll be a little longer once they're blocked. And you've got all of these, this beautiful texture that, I mean, is just not showing up on camera as good as it is. It's stunning in person, you guys. So I just finished this pattern. I am about to, by the time this comes up, it will be all written up. So I will be attached to it, apparently, because my sweater has buttons. And <laughs> I never cut this yet, so I need to... I am going to be looking for testers for it. I don't know how many I'm going to need, but I will. I know some people had signed up on my Ravelry thread to test. Um, and I will probably send it out to them first. But if that doesn't work, I will send it to some other people. Because I have, I need, so if you want to be my tester, I'm going to tell you. You need to have a, an active Ravelry page where you're going to share the project and be on, you know, once it's done, share it. And an active Instagram account that is not private. Mm -hmm. Cause gotta be able to see it. I want you to post photos as you're doing it. So, you know, advertisement basically. <laughs> so I am going to be sending out a call for testers. You will need, like I said, I will weigh this out uh, in a minute. It will be when I put out the call for testers, you guys. But I did, this is, I used maybe a quarter, maybe a half of this skein. So like one and a half skeins of fingering weight yarn. I will tell you, let me just see. Where is the little one? Must be upstairs. Okay. I will tell you, the first one I made, I did in Iron Wheel Farms color called Victorious. It was beautiful. The problem was, it was a very heavily speckled yarn. And because of that, you lost a lot of the details of these ridges and the eyelets. It just kind of all mangled together, which is why I went for this stunning gray color, because it's going to look great. Look, 
so it's gray and then you put your pink hair on it and that looks good okay <laughs> anyways so i went for a solid but of course you guys can use whatever you want but it will be you will need two well one and a half skeins a fingering weight yarn for this so i'm super excited uh i am calling this um the armor shawl because al named it she there was a book she was reading and it reminded her of the armor on the front or whatever so isn't that pretty so pretty i'm so excited and i will be like, like i said putting out a call for testers here in a day or two so gotta put all my information back in the back because you don't want to lose it then i'll be writing up the pattern and be like what did i use Right, Mr. Pineapple? Mm -hmm. He's here, you guys. He likes to <clears throat> stare. Oh, Suri, I'm not talking to you. Does anybody else's iPhone do that? Like, I'll start talking and Suri is like, yes, can I help you? Stop spying on me, Suri. <laughs> okay. And then, that's it for finished objects. I didn't do anything else. I've been so busy with everything else that I'll talk about in the chatter section here after this that I've, I haven't done much. I have, however, worked a little on this project. You guys, this is a bag from Kim from Chasing Acorns. Love, we love Chasing Acorns, right? It's Mario. It, it will focus. There we go. It's Mario. Mario! I don't know why I say it like that. Can you see me? Is it? There we go. And you guys know, this is my flat iron shawl. I have showed it a billion times. I am in, I am using a stunning hook from nelson's wood or nelson nelsonwoods.net i will link that okay i'm gonna write that here too <laughs> link nelson and i'll know that okay stunning wooding hooks you guys oh they're so stunning but anyways i've showed you that before too and the last time i showed you the shawl i had just gotten through the little bit of striping into the second color and started as you can see over on this end, there's my little like dingle doppy thingy stitch marker. It's a pineapple. And I have done this much more of the second color. So I'm gonna hold that up there. You guys will know that this was my, what I like to call unicorn skein from Rhinebeck. I just saw it, I fell in love with it. It's so, so pretty. It's from, um, oh, where's the little taggy? I think it's white citrus. Schweitzer Fiber Mill. Put that up there. That's where that color came from. And the yellow down at the bottom was from Knit Crate. It was, um, I think that they're all Audine wools and it has cashmere in it. It's so pretty. I really can't wait to get this done because it's actually curling on one side. And that bothers me. But once I block it, it won't curl. But isn't that pretty, you guys? I can't wait to get the third color in. So I am going to get started working on this more because I started this on Christmas Day. Here we are. It's May. <laughs> Maybe I'll have it done before Christmas. <laughs> it's a lovely pattern. I love it. I just, for some reason, I don't know why my ears all itchy. Mm, itchy. Is somebody talking about me? Is it you? I hope it's good. No, anyways. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not getting into this one as much as I did the knitted one when I did the free or fade. They're like the same shape. I don't know, but I love it. It's beautiful. Love it. We'll put that back over there into the whips. So that is it for whips. But what I want to talk about now is future whips. So actually yesterday I busted out my wonderful yarn ball winder, which was a gift from one of you wonderful pineapple people. Thank you so much. And my Swift, which I bought on Amazon, and I bought the cheapest one I could find, and it's a piece of garbage. But <laughs> this is totally a piece of garbage. We've already had to, like, it came broken, and my husband glued it to fix it. It was, like, the little handle. And then that broke yesterday, so my son, like, actually tied it together with yarn. <laughs> so it's a total piece of garbage, you guys. But, alas, there it is. So I am going to start. Let me see what's in what here, because i got three projects I want to show you. Okay. That's that one. And then I think this one. Okay, that's the last one I want to talk about. The first one I want to talk about is in this bag. And you guys, will, if you watched my yarn con video with Al, you will know that I made this bag. I know I'm going to start making a couple bags, which I'll talk about. I made this bag with these crazy rainbow cats on one side. Let me open it up a little. And if you ever remember the ugly skirt, it's on the inside. <laughs> For me and Al, for our best friend bags. And it felt like the perfect bag to do this. This, So two of these are a design and, and one is just a pattern. So I'm going to show the two designs that I'm going to work on. One is my newest design. 
and it is using AJHC wools, which I don't have her tag right here, but that's okay because I am going to link her down below. And I bought two of her colors at YarnCon because I found this pink, which totally reminded me of me, and this blue that totally reminded me of Al. Aren't these beautiful? Such beautiful colors. I believe this is Zeus. And this is Aphrodite. And um, I am making another design because for some reason I've gotten bitten by the design bug and I have got like a ton I'm going to make. It's going to be called the Bestie Shawl. I'm so excited. You're going to use two contrasty colors. Um, now there's a trick if you are trying to know if your colors are contrasty. Let me see if I can do this. <laughs> My phone's dying. If you take your phone and you take a photo... How do I get it to, okay, hold on. That's not it, one second. Okay, I figured it out. Take a black and white, just a black and white photo and put your yarn in front of it. I'm gonna do this right now. You guys are gonna see this right like real time, guys. Take a photo of your yarn or just hold it there. Let me go to the photo now. And if you do it, if, you're, if your yarn is really high contrast, you will actually be able to see a difference in the yarn now let me turn down my screen brightness because I've been told that that actually works can you guys tell okay it's gonna make me hold it this way this darker that's not really focusing on is the blue and this is the pink so they're they're still they're very low contrast but they are contrast and obviously to the naked eye this is very high contrast so basically the pattern is going to take your main color which for me since I am making it is pink and then you will need a second one to be your contrasty color. And it's going to be called the Bestie Shawl. And it's a pretty interesting design. I am super excited about it. Are you excited, Mr. Pineapple? Mm-hmm. You should see his face. He's like so excited <clears throat> up in this place. <clears throat> he has to contain yourself, honey. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> he gets so excited about yarn, you guys. Okay, the next design is in this bag. As you guys know, this is the other bag I bought from Deb over at Heavenly Textiles. It's a camper bag because I'm moving into a camper. We'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> Isn't this cute? She makes a great bag. She makes amazing bags. She will be, I've already said I'd tag her. See, she's on the list of tagging. So, you guys will know uh, if you watched my Nick Crate video. And if you didn't, why aren't you watching all my videos? <laughs> I got these beautiful aqua greeny blue colors of beautiful DK weight yarn that have cashmere in them. They're so soft. Mm, okay. And then I went to the spring. Okay. It's raining outside. So hopefully there's not like dribbity drip sounds in my video, but if there is whatever dribbity drip video, right? So, okay. So I was at, um, sorry, I got all distracted by the rain. So I had these guys and I was like, what am I going to do with these two gorgeous skeins of DK in this stunning color? And I was up at the Ann Arbor Fiber Expo, hanging out with my people, Danielle and Andrew from Iron Wheel Farms. Hi guys, if you're watching, if you're not, I'm super mad. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're busy, she's pregnant. They run a farm and have a kid. Man, if you guys are watching, you should probably be working, right? I mean, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, I love them. You guys know I love them. And they had this scheme. Isn't this pretty? It's the same aqua color, but with purple. And I am going to do what I don't want to do, which is pull the tag out of the center. Oh, wait, no, it didn't have a name. It just had a number. Otherwise, I would pull it out. But let me hold it up. And when I saw it, I knew it would just go stunning with this, right? So, I'm designing another shawl for these three. It's going to be a super simple, awesome shawl. Okay, guys? So, don't worry about this one. Super simple. You're going to love it. And that is in my Heavenly Textiles bag with the campers that I love so much. I'm running out of room up there, so I'm going to set it down here. And then I have one more, and it only has one of the skeins in it. So, okay, this is a bag from Kim from Chasing Acorns, who will also be linked down below. I'm going to have so many links this video, you guys. Look at it. With the unicorns, you guys. It's like Rainbow Bright's unicorn. And I will show you it caked up. I'm not going to tell you what to make with it because then I'm going to tell you in a second. But this is called Holly Bait and it is made by Iron Wheel Farms. I will link them. Let me write that. Iron Wheel. 
they make this color called holly bait because they knew it was me it is like hot pink with purple isn't it stunning love it and when i was at um the yarn garden for local yarn store day i bought only one skinny yarn i'm going to show it to you right now I'm gonna dig it out of my little box here so because i have everything sitting over here to show you guys and I was actually hanging out talking to the lady who runs Mid Mitten, Mid Mitten Designs. She makes the most amazing bags here in Michigan. And she was making the Birds of a Feather by Andrea Mowry. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is a lovely knitted pattern using mohair. And I was walking around and I found, did I find it or did you find it? Well, I saw it before you, I think. I don't know. Whatever. He saw it first. Okay, I ripped the tag just a smidgen. But it is Stitch Together Studios. And this is their um, mohair. Uh, yep, kid mohair. Super fine. 72% kid mohair, 28% silk. 459 yarns for a 50 gram ball. And look at this. Look, you guys. Look at the mohair. One, look at the fluff on this mohair. But... Doesn't it go perfect with holly bait? Now, I know what you're saying. Holly, you need at least two skeins of your single. I do. So, Danielle, if you were seeing this before I have wrote you, which probably not, I need another skein of this. Hook me up. I'll, I'll call you. Anyways, um, so I'm going to make the birds of a feather in my colors. Could you guys just imagine this on me? Okay, I'm sorry about that battery thing. And I actually have no clue what I was talking about. I know I was talking about this. But I'm so excited about this because I've wanted to do the um, Birds of a Feather by Andrea Mowry. Um, and you guys, it was on my Make 9 at the beginning of the year. But I just didn't know. And then like these two came together and they're so perfect, right? I think they're going to be stunning together. And this mohair is so soft. Love it. So that is a project. Now that I've shown you, I can stick it in my project bag. <laughs> Actually, I, have to, I still have to buy the pattern. But I was so excited. I was winding yarn yesterday. My arm's killing me. Killing me. I just had to do it. So I'm going to put this over here now. Um, and since we're on the topic of what I bought at, where did I go? The yarn garden. You guys, I have no idea what's wrong with me. Let me write down the yarn garden so I can tag her too. Yarn garden. She will be listed below too, you guys. I didn't buy anything else because I got all caught up because my husband and my super sweet kids got me a birthday present. And I... Okay, I'm going to be honest. I kind of thought they would get me a birthday present because um, we do my local yarn store day. It's three days after my birthday. So I just kind of figured they would get me a present. But I thought they would buy me like a little skinny yarn or something. Like, you know, which I mean, you know, $20 skinny yarn is not a little skinny yarn. But it's still, I, that's what I thought. But no, my husband and my kids got me this. Yep, that's me squealing. This is the i'm gonna let me hold it up so you guys can see the name on it licky likey like i've heard it said a billion different ways somebody told me there that it's supposed to be like i keep saying licky i don't care you guys these are the driftwood interchangeable knitting needle set you guys look at those aren't they stunning uh okay and you can like the little case is made so that you can like prop it. You can't see, but you could prop it up so you could see them. And in, let me undo that. In this pocket down here is all of my cords. It comes with three different cords and um, a bunch of stoppers and stuff like that. And a key, of course. Let me button that back up. You guys, it's in this stunning like suede leathery pouch that has a zipper on the front so I can put like stitch markers and stuff. But these needles, look at those. Aren't they stunning? I love how like the same sizes are different colors. They go all the way from a US 4 to a US 17. There are 12 sets of interchangeable needles in here. I'm so, so, so excited. I cannot wait. That is one of the reasons I was super excited about the birds of a feather was I got this. I have the best husband in the whole world. He's right over there. I love you. He's such a good husband. <laughs> anyway, okay, that should be the thing. <laughs> Um, okay, before I get on to showing you all of my happy mail, because I got a bunch of happy mail from you guys, birthday presents and other stuff, um, 
I want to talk about a couple of things that I said I was going to talk about. So first I want to talk about how I found out about all the festivals going on around near me or anywhere I wanted to go. There is this website called um, Knitter's Review. It will be linked down below. I've already got it written on the list. And they have a calendar of all fiber festivals that they know of, which is a ton in all the states, over in Europe, anywhere there's a fiber festival or a fiber retreat, it is on this list. You guys have to check it out because I just sit there and go, can we go to here? And my husband's like, no, we can't go to Ireland next weekend, Holly. And I'm like, why not? <laughs> Excuse me, but that's me. I'm like, oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So that is something you guys totally need to go and check out. Uh, next, I want to talk about really quick camping. I if somebody said that was like, what? You're moving? What? what? Okay, I said this in my last video or one of my last videos, but we have gotten rid of the house, which we're still in it, but we're going to be out of it very, very soon. And bought a camper. We're restoring the camper a little bit, you know, painting it, making it how I would want it to be. And then we are going to go stay in a campground, like a RV park, for the summer, just to, you know, save up a little more money and hang around town with the family and whatnot for one more summer. And then in October, we're gone. We're leaving. We are going to live in the camper full time and travel around the United States. So I am going to be coming to a state near you. <laughs> it's just going to happen. I'm super, super, super excited about it. It's going to be a ton of fun. Yes, it's going to be a ton of work. Yes, it's going to suck. I mean, two adults, three children, two Shih Tzus, and a fluffy cat. Hmm. Not a great idea, but we're going to do it anyways, because why not? I'm so excited. Yes, we already homeschool the kids, so that's not an issue. <coughs> Excuse me. Water. I don't know where all my cups are, you guys, so I'm drinking straight out of Aquafina now. <laughs> there we go. Better. But we're super excited. I am so excited, and yes. I will still be doing this channel. Nothing will change on the proper pineapple, I, except for my backdrop. I will still be doing podcasts. I'll still do lives. The only thing that's really going to change besides my background is I'm going to get to meet more of you because I'm going to go to knit nights. I'm going to go and have meetups all over the place. So I'll get to meet more of my proper pineapple people doing this camping life. And for those of you who do not know, we are starting a second channel. There's nothing on it yet, but there will be very, very soon. We're starting from, it's going to be our everyday life. So pretty much anything that is not yarn related will be on this channel. Our everyday life of traveling, of raising the kids, hanging out with the crazy dogs. It's just going to be all on that channel. Um, it's called Everyday Pineapples. When it, I have videos, I'll make sure to put up a link. But right now there's no link. But if you search for it, I'm sure you'll find it. You'll know because there's nothing there yet. So it will be very soon. I'm super excited about that. And that brings me to this stack of stuff I have on my desk here. So I made a bunch of shawls last year. I made like this big giant one, which I have a tutorial for on my channel. Love it. It's gigantic. I test crocheted this one for Hannah over at the Cozy Cottage. I love that too. I crocheted this. It was a gift. Uh, the pattern was a gift from Lacey on Hooked on Owls. I loved it. It was so, so much fun. And I just made up this Tunisian one. <laughs> I just, just made it up. I didn't have a pattern. I just did something. And so I made a bunch more than that too. Well, I had to sit and go through all the things I made last year because I don't have very much room in the camper. So I've got to like pare down. And these shawls, unfortunately, did not make the cut. And because I just don't wear them very often, so I figured I shouldn't keep them. So I'm trying to decide, what do you guys think? Should I just donate these to a Goodwill? Does anybody want these? <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. This one's fun. I love this one, the coloring. I mean, I love them all. I just, uh, I can't throw them away. That would be ridiculous. Should I donate them to a shelter or something? Would anybody <laughs> be interested in these? I don't know what to do. So I would like y'all's opinions on what I should do with these shawls that I can no longer, I no longer have room for. Um, and where to go from there. So that would be great. Uh, now let's see, I think, oh, okay. See if I don't cross stuff off. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about is my birthday giveaway. I know it's past my birthday, but I totally know. <laughs> I, but I was busy. I just, life, was, wasn't it busy, honey? Mm -hmm. I was busy. But I did get, I do have some stuff for a giveaway. It is a small giveaway compared to last year, but it is nice stuff. 
so I was I bought something at YarnCon and then I had something here again I went through my yarn and I, I had to pare down so I actually have a large bucket not a large a pretty good sized bucket of yarn that's going to be going away to giveaways because gotta pare down to live in a camper and I had so I have two things here that I am going to put in a giveaway um and well actually three one's going to be a pattern i'm going to tell you about that so i'm going to show you the stuff that'll be part of the giveaway and then i will tell you what to comment down below to enter said giveaway okay so first is going to be this beautiful skein of lolo did it put that up there lolo did it it's her helping hippos colorway that she did this year Whenever there's like a disaster or something, she puts out this colorway. And this was a gift to me from one of you wonderful pineapple people. And yes, I do love this. But I just knew that you guys would love it too. And I just like, I've been sitting here and I'm like, oh, I love it, but I don't know what to do with it. And I just feel really bad to not do something. So I want to make sure it goes to one of you people who will love it as much as I do. It is... Do, 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 do. I'm sure there's information. <laughs> superwash merino, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. It would make stunning socks. I don't make socks though. Um, it's 100 grams, 463 yards. It's beautiful. The other thing is this little kit from AJHC Wools for the cardamom coffee hat kit here. You get three colors. Oh, come on. Okay, let me get the tag first and that will here oh, it's trying there we go ajhc wools you get this beautiful blue which i believe is the um zeus colorway this is not the pink i have but it's a different one and then the loki color in the back it's four mini skeins to make the cardamom hat i believe that's by caitlin hunter i could be wrong whatever it is it is a knitted hat pattern if the person who gets this prize does not knit <laughs> I will give you a pattern on Ravelry of your choice of, of equal or lesser value to the cardamom hat. Okay, so we will discuss that one. But if you want that pattern, even if you don't knit and you just want it for whatever, that's the pattern you will get. So the giveaway will be the pattern that goes with this mini kit that is stunning. AJHC Wools makes the cutest, like, I call them tonals, <laughs> but they're like a solid with a speckle and I love it so much. And this beautiful Lolo did it. So that is my birthday giveaway. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. Because I seriously, like, I was like, I'll give these away. And then I was sitting there and I'm like, but I, I want to make a hat. And maybe I'll make socks. And my husband was like, give away, Holly. And I was like, okay. He has a stern face. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not at all. He just gives me that look like, are you kidding me, Holly? So, let me take a drink. The heater's running. And it's making a lot of loud noise. You were supposed to turn that off. <laughs> okay, so to enter it, all you have to do is comment down below on this video. Should we make them say something? Like. Because they're already telling me what to do with the shawls. Right, I'm already telling. So, well, I want to know if you want to enter. So to enter the giveaway down below. If you're just, well, you know what, I'll just, you know, just comment down below. You guys, that's how I always do my giveaways. Let's not make this too hard. <laughs> I got enough going on in my life. I don't have time to read through comments and be like, did they make the comment? No. Okay. Just comment down below. We will run this giveaway for one week. So this video is coming out on the 2nd. So the 9th will be the end of this giveaway. I will pick a winner and announce it shortly after that. Okay, guys. So again, a skein of Lolo did it in Helping Hippos. These four stunning minis from AJH Seawolves and the pattern that these go to or a pattern of your choosing of equal or lesser value. It sounds less cool when I have to say that, but whatever. <laughs> so that is the birthday giveaway. Thank you guys for being patient and waiting on that. Um, speaking of giveaways, I have not forgotten about the 15,000 subscriber giveaway. I know we are well on our way to 16,000, but that giveaway is coming up too. I will probably put it out Oh, after this giveaway is done, I don't want to run two giveaways at once. So we'll do this giveaway when this ends on the 9th. Um, a day or two, a couple days after that, the 15,000 subscriber video will come out. Okay, guys? So don't, don't think I forgot. I didn't forget. Time just gets away from me. All right. Now it's what you guys are all here for, the happy mail. So, okay, quickly. Oh, quickly. I'm going to talk about these. Okay, so you guys saw in that video from Local Yarn Store Day, Al got me a bunch of stuff. Well, I forgot to show you the card. Look at this. 
if this sheep was real it would be my pet <laughs> look at it isn't it funny it's so cute and it said love you al's such a sweetheart so funny i laughed so hard when i pulled this card out but she's she's just like me like we were in the <laughs> we we're in the yard store she goes i forgot to fill out your card look that way <laughs> she's pulling out my card <laughs> but i'm not mad okay okay guys so one of the gifts i gotten um which i'll talk about first i'm gonna talk about Oh, I don't know how to start this story. Anyways, Nelson Woods, the guy who makes my hooks. Um, I was chatting with him one day, and I had told him how, if you guys remember a while ago, long time ago, I made a video about my hooks, and I showed you guys the first hook I ever got from him, and how I had dropped it and snapped the tip off of it. It was just the handle, the beautiful carved wood handle, and I cried. I cry thinking about it. And I told him about it, and he said, well, I have a repair option on my website and i was like what <laughs> like you can fix it and he was like yeah i can fix it no problem so on his website you can find if you have a hook and it one of your one of his wooden hooks and it broke he has a repair option so um i had been gifted by my wonderful friend down in florida i'm going to say her name wrong it was chris Cristal, Cristel, she won one of my last giveaways and she was sweet and sent all my kids shark's teeth. Well, she sent me a $20 gift certificate to his website. And since I was going to get a hook repaired, I went ahead and ordered one that I had been looking at. And this hook, so wait, I'll show you first. No, I'll show you the repair after this one. Cause this is the hook that she helped me purchase with her wonderful gift certificate. Thank you so much. It meant the world to me. This hook is called the pinky hook. <laughs> which is right my kids can't help but being loud and obnoxious so i raised them like wolves apparently anyways this hook is stunning here it is i know you guys you're like that's not all pink holly i know but we're gonna talk about what makes this hook perfect for me so it starts off with a stunning black ebony well i guess ebony means whatever an ebony tip this white is hollywood literally hollywood from a holly tree which i was like okay and then this gorgeous little um this is stabilized wood i don't know exactly what kind but if you go on his website you will see and he basically like dyes it and stabilizes it and then carves it isn't that beautiful it's got pink in it it's called the pinky and it has hollywood and pink in it and i love it and he has more hooks that have even more pink on them but i couldn't pass this one up because i had been wanting a hollywood hook because I'm Holly. <laughs> so I wanted to, I was so excited. So thank you so much for your gift certificate because you made this possible. I love it so much. And I keep them. He sends them in these tubes. I love it. I keep them in there. So now I'll show you whilst I was ordering that hook. I just sent him my thing and he fixed it. So I ordered, it was a 3.75 hook. And this was over a year or so ago I ordered this. And it was, let me get that pink for the background there. It was the handle area was made of kingswood. Oh, see how pretty. Well, it's not. You're not see some of the little things. It's kind of dark. But all he did was cut off because I broke it like right up here. He cut that off and he grafted on this beautiful ebony tip. So now my broken hook that I just used to pull out of the drawer and go. <laughs> I can actually use it again, you guys. It's so pretty. I probably won't. It's too pretty. I'm just going to like gonna put that away and hide it somewhere so it doesn't get broken because this one's a 375 all my other ones from him are like fives and bigger and i feel like they're more durable but that was part of my gifts i had to share it with you guys um this wasn't a gift this was something i bought at after yarn con i was playing around on spoon flour <laughs> i can never i always want to say spoon sugar you can get like fabric from them and i found this stunning fabric let me see if i can get a good panel of it look at this fabric you guys with mermaid cats and octopus and whales it looks like a coloring book and i love it so much so i bought this fabric to make some bags from you guys which you, you guys will know if you watch the video from yarn con i made bags for al and i'm going to start making some and selling them this is going to be some of the fabric i use i have some other fabric but i have some i bought too let's see um i did buy some stuff oh let me pull this out and then i'll get onto some i bought some fabrics while we were up at the local yarn store day i just got this yellow plaid um to go with a couple different fabrics but i got these funny pineapples i got these at joann's and look at the funny pineapples you guys so those are going to be a bag 
Um, and then we were at this stunning, oh my gosh, what was the name of that quilt shop? <sighs> you guys, I don't remember, but I will put it right here. It's going to be right here. And then, of course, I will link it down below. Al found it, and I loved it. Oh my gosh, it was like a maze of fabric, wasn't it? Like, you walk in, it was like, just everywhere. But I got this beautiful flamingo fabric. Look at this. Let's put that up like that. Beautiful flamingos. That's going to be a bag. And then, look at the way... They okay, hold on. See the bottom here. These were a couple little like remnants. There was this Pete the Cat fabric, which I think I'll just make like a small little bag out of that one. I got this one with the black and the white paint splatters just as like an inside to a bag. I'm gonna put those back in there. And then look how she folded all my fabrics together. I'm gonna hold them up. So this top one, if my camera focuses, see is little foxes. This one has all these different animals and it says all the different continents. Um, you know, Canada, or well, all the countries, Canada, America, all of that. Then right here is this stunning, look at this, you guys. I don't want to unfold it, but these beautiful, like, succulent flowers. And then the bottom one had these amazing arrows. So all of these are going to be turned into bags, too. I have a bunch of other fabric I haven't even showed you guys yet. So I've got to get cracking on making bags. Right, Mr. Pineapple? I'm going to teach Mr. Pineapple how to make bags. <laughs> Who wants a Mr. Pineapple bag? Raise your hand. Okay. Okay, so let me show you. Oh, I'm going to pause here for a second because my dear friend, Chris, Cindy, I said Christy. Why was I going to call you Christy? That's not your name. Cindy Marsh from New York sent me and Starlet, because it was Starlet's birthday this month too, some wonderful gifts. I will insert that right now because we couldn't wait to open them. So they're right now. Scoot, let me stay closer. Okay, so... Like I said a moment ago, we had gotten some wonderful packages from our friend Cindy Marsh. Say hi to Cindy. Hi, Cindy. For our birthday month, because it's my birthday on the 24th, which is the best day ever. Mm -hmm. And her birthday was on the 10th, which was the second best day ever, right? The and first. then, you know, the first, no, the second. Anyways. The first. <laughs> she sent me a gift. Look, she sent me coffee. I'm just kidding. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> but she, I knocked some stuff on the floor. I'll pick it up in a minute. Look at how nicely this was wrapped, you guys. Look at this. That's all I did was cut the top open, and then I was like, I've got to film this because Cindy's such a sweetie. She did a great job. She sent me a card, which I've already read, but look, it's so cute. Isn't it cute? It's adorable. Oh, had just a little paper in it. Great. Love the card. Bella apparently wants to be a part of this. And then like this, she's got like paper in it, and she's got little, oh, it's stuck to it. Ugh. Little sticky things. <laughs> And look at all this. Look, it's little noodly things. Actually, it's newspaper. And the kids are going to have to clean this room up. After. <laughs> look at all this newspaper. Look at this. Ready, Star? Ready? No. Woo! <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I think I've got... Psych! There's more. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> all right. Enough. You're messing my shawl up. All right. You're messing oh, like my I hair. I hooked on something. I got, there's newspaper everywhere. Is there one right by my hair? There is. There's a whole bunch in your hair, princess. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Just one of my... Okay, now that we're done with all the newspaper fun. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, the first thing I see is a ball of yarn. Oh, it is so soft. Do you want to feel it? You guys, it's by Sugar Bush. It's called Bold. It's 100% wool, extra fine, super wash merino. I don't know what weight this is. It looks like probably a worsted. Yep, it's a worsted. Oh my gosh. Like a and it's color. a stunning color. I'm going to show you guys in a second. As soon as I remember where they write the name of the color on this. You guys, I'm so bad at this. There it is. No? Yes, yes. No, that's made in Romania. Where Prairie Gold. Okay, so you guys will know, um, in my Jimmy Beans Crochet Surprise Month Club, whatever it is, I got some sugar bush, but it was different than this. Look at this stunning color. It's like a mustardy yellow. Oh, I love it. It is, so, I can't believe it's 100% wool. It feels like it would have some cashmere. Bruce Wayne, quit throwing stuff at your sister while we're filming. <laughs> I'm only allowed to do that. That's good. Okay. And there's something wrapped up here in paper that says, live in life to the fullest, handmade by yours truly, Cindy Marsh. Is this handmade by you, Cindy? 
If it is handmade, I'm super excited to see it because I love Cindy. She's so sweet. I can't wait to go to New York and hang out with her one of these days. Let us see. It's a crochet hook. Did you make this, Cindy? Oh my goodness. Isn't that pretty? Okay, um, let me hold up some paper so that it hold the paper star. Look at the hook, you guys. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Love it so much. I don't know what size hook it is, Cindy. <laughs> it's not focusing on my face. Why is it not focusing? It's focused up there and then it won't. There we go. Okay. Cindy, I don't know what size hook this is, but it's stunning. I have a gauge. I'll figure it out. Isn't it pretty? Oh, so I, are you selling these, Cindy? Because if you are, you need to start a page and sell these. People love these hooks. I know I love this one, right? Okay. Crinkle paper. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's so many things in here. Okay, I should just go for this big one in the middle. What is this? Cindy, did you make this? Cindy made this too. It's a yarn bowl. Isn't that cool? It's got all the little holes for you to stick your yarn through and look at how like tie-dye it is. Okay, boys. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Cindy, you are so talented. Look at that. I like the green. Right? It looks great with my new hook. Thank you, Cindy. And it's so lightweight, which is great. Okay. Bubble wrap. And more paper! Wait, wait, one more time with the paper. Paper! Okay. I don't know for real these though. Okay, hold on. There's one, two, I think two more things. Nope, three more things. There's a lot of this shredded paper in there, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Look at me, I'm covered in it. Okay, knock everything off. Okay, stop. Stop to my hair. <laughs> okay, I got your little card, Cindy. I'm going to show everybody here in a second. Okay, what is this? Is this lip gloss? Look at the paper all over me. It's a pineapple lip gloss, you guys. Okay, quiet down, everybody. I'm filming. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love lip gloss, and I will be using this one. Uh, okay, I'm gonna open this one last because this one says, "Since your home will be on wheels, you will need this." I'm gonna open that last. We're gonna open this big one that just says Holly on the front of it. Oh my. Holly, everything. Okay, for starters, it's a little pineapple like change purse. But it's filled with a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Oh my this little paper that says smile, giggle, laugh, I love. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is one of those pendant cutters. Oh my goodness. What? Okay. What's a pendant cutter? I'm going to tell. First, she sent me all these H's. Is it going to focus on them? There we go. It kind of did. So I can make stitch markers with H's because Holly. <laughs> she sent me this amazing llama pins. Look at those. It says llama no drama. Oh my gosh, those are going <laughs> straight on my bag. Get it to focus. And then she said, you guys have seen those circle little necklaces you can wear that cut your yarn? She sent me a heart one. Isn't that the cutest? I'm so, so excited about this one. I'm going to totally put that on a charm and use it. And then, of course, my new change first. How cute is he? He's adorable. Thank you, Cindy. You're so sweet. And I have no idea what could be in this, but I have to take a look now. And then we'll open Star's Gifts, because she wanted me to go first. She has to be dramatic. I don't know where she gets it. Must be from her father. Oh, an inspiring visor clip. It says, never drive faster than your angel can fly. Oh, that's so cute. Let's see if it's going to focus. There it is. That is very, very cute. We will put that in the car. Oh, Cindy, you're so sweet. And you guys, you've got to go check out Cindy's business here. So, get to focus. There's the front. And then you can email her. There is her email. Screenshot it and send her a message about this hook in this stunning bowl, you guys. It's full of paper. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
You've got to go check her out. And Cindy, I love all of this. You are such a sweetheart. I love you. Cannot wait to come out and see you sometime this year. We're working on it. And the yarn. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to use that. It's so soft for being 100% wool. Wool? Wool. There's one piece of paper in your hair, honey. Okay. Where are my tiny scissors? There they are. Okay, so Star's going to open her package now. I feel like there's more paper on me. There is. <laughs> This is the kind of shenanigans we get into anytime. So if you feel like sending me, my son keeps telling me that there's more paper. Over here? Oh, yes, wow. Way back, in the way back here. This oh, yep, I feel it. There it is. If you guys send little strings of paper, we're going to have a paper fight. That's what we do if you, what is it, that if you give a mouse a cookie? If you give a holly paper. <laughs> do you need help, darling? Nope, she should have cut a hole in there. That's very cute. You have to pull it out. <laughs> okay, don't be throwing stuff at me. Just open your package. We'll take them out and then open it. Be careful not to show Cindy's address on the front because. Our paper. Here, let me take this guy out. All right, let's look at your card first. Who's showing this? I'm not showing. I'm reading your card. Oh, look at that! It says "Happy Birthday." And show everybody. Go like this first, and then go like this. So cute with a little rainbow. Starlet, the brightest smiles, the biggest laughs, the best fun. Hope your birthday is the best one ever. From Cindy Marsh. Oh, what do you say to Cindy? Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to open this one. Okay, she's going to open that one. Pull it open. Let's see what it is. Oh, she made you something. Mm -hmm. And she sent you a pineapple lip gloss, too. <laughs> we can be twinsies. It's a little robe for, for a your Barbie doll. Oh, Cindy, look at this. This is so cute, you guys. She made a little robe for the Barbie doll and a little skirt. And let me get him close to the camera, honey. So cute, Cindy. They even have snaps on them. Oh, they're little shorts. That's so cute. Oh, you have like red, jammies. Right? Yep. Look, we've got like twinsies. <laughs> so cute. Oh, that is so adorable. Her glasses are blue and mine are red. She threw that at her brother. Don't throw more stuff at us. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> kind of shouldn't. Oh, you knocked over my mermaid. Oh, I'll wear that. That's good. Oh, she. All right. I'm going to have to fix her later, guys. Apparently, things are getting crazy in here. Uh, I think I know what it is. It's a Barbie for your new clothes. See if we can get her to focus. Okay. A very cute little Barbie in a cute dress. I'm oh, she's adorable. It. Well, no, no, you can open it in a second. Mm -hmm. Say thank you to Miss Marsh. <laughs> thank you, Miss. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> thank you, Cindy. Bye, Cindy. We love you. Thank you. Okay, like I said a moment ago, thank you so much, Cindy Marsh. You're such a sweetheart. I also got this massive box here from my dear friend Karen. I don't want to say your last name wrong. Deering. I don't know why I would mess that up. She wrote me a super long letter, which I love. You guys, I'm not one of those weird people that are like, ew, somebody wrote me a long letter. I like I like hearing from people. Please write me and tell me stuff about you. I love it. There was also a card inside. So I'm gonna pull that out. It was like a pop-out. I remember now. Yeah, okay. What well, not a pop-out? It's this beautiful green. Look at this. And it says, celebrating the day that God said there will be a gentle soul, a caring heart, encouraging words, and a warm laugh. And helping hands. And then it said, celebrate the day that God created you and made the world smile because of the differences you make in the, in the lives you touch and the special joy you bring. Aww. <coughs> Karen, you're such a sweetheart. I read it when I opened it because I couldn't wait to open it. And now I'm crying again because, not actually crying though because that takes a lot of tears and I don't do that. But I like cry on the inside. I'm weird like that. Oh, I forgot there was candy in here. Oh, how did I forget there was candy? I'd have ate this already. <laughs> well, I wanted to switch you just sound like a horrible diabetic. I am a horrible <laughs> diabetic. I would have ate the crap out of this candy <laughs> because Karen got the good stuff. Karen, I love you. You move over, Al. Karen's gonna be one of my new best friends. No, I'm kidding. We love Al. Okay, so first off, there are these set of four rope coasters. Karen, did you make these? I really, really want to know. Please comment below. Um, 
if you did make them, that's stunning. If you didn't make them, they're still really awesome, you guys. They're like a rope coaster. I'm totally going to use these in the camper. I love them. And if you made them, that's really impressive. If you didn't make them, thank you so much for buying for them for me because I love them so much. I'm gonna put them over here. Okay, so I'll show you the candy. So she got me a chocolate bar that is chocolate and almonds and cherries. I'm gonna be honest, I don't usually put fruit in my chocolate, but I'm gonna try this because if I love it, then I don't have to share it with the kids. <laughs> and she got me my favorite Lindor dark truffles. I'm not sharing these with nobody. Don't get any ideas. Okay, Star can have one because her birthday month was this month too. But one, that's it. Okay, she got me this. This is so cute. It's called a yeah, yay bag. Let's see if that will go back. So it's a little bag like that. <laughs> Look at the one with the donuts. I want donuts. But she did get me one I'd like. I have not opened it because I wanted to do it on camera. But this one has dun, 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 flamingos. Which I love so much. I do like the donut bag on the label too, you guys. That's funny. But the look at the flamingos. That's so perfect. And I'm going to love bags like this when I'm in the camper. So now I'm going to throw this at Mr. Pineapple and tell him to fold it up. <laughs> That's how we were. Oh, oh, and I forgot I wanted to wear this shirt. I'm going to wear this shirt anyways. Look at you guys. It has a llama. And it says birthday girl on it. Isn't it stunning? I'm going to wear this around anyways because that's just how I am. But I will save this. This will forever be my birthday t-shirt. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. I'm going to wear that so much, Karen. You are such a sweetheart. Then she got me a bag. It's so cool. Look at this big bag. It's Oh, it's got a llama. I forgot about the llama on the front. And it's got teal at the bottom. It's a big tote. Would look. Little bobbles. I love it. Star, set that somewhere, please, pumpkin. Oh, okay. Then she got me this little box here. She sat it on Mr. Pineapple. That wasn't very nice of her. Let me pull this out. Oh, I remember now. I get so excited because I opened this and then I forgot for a moment, but now I remember. And I'm super excited. She got me a bunch of stuff. So, one, she got me this lovely safety pin, which I will use. I'm looking for that card. <laughs> And she has some stitch markers in here. I don't remember in the paper. If I think, let me. Did I get? I didn't get the papers. Did you make these, Karen? Let me see. Mm -mm -mm. It doesn't say, or at least I didn't see. If you made these, they're stunning. And even if you didn't, I appreciate you getting them for me. Look at these beautiful stitch markers, you guys. Look, they're kind of like little jeweled stitch markers. So cute. And then in the bag, I'm holding this here so I can hold them up. She got a couple enamel pins. There was this beautiful little sheepy, or I'm sorry, llama. Isn't it cute? Or an alpaca. Either way, adorable. Ugh, hold on, guys. I got to dump out the two pins. <laughs> this one I love. Look at the sheep with all the different color balls of yarn on it. Oh my gosh, that one is a favorite. And it's only beaten by this amazing sloth eating a watermelon, right? I love that. I died a little inside laughing when I saw that the, oh my gosh, these buttons are amazing along with the beautiful stitch markers. Karen, you are so sweet to send me this stuff for my birthday. I love it so, 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 so much. I will be using the stitch markers and those pins are going right on my favorite bag that I keep all my pins on. She also got me a book, uh, Prayers for a Simple Life. Meditations of the heart for a for uh, meditations from the heart of a Mennonite mother. Oh, interesting. That will be interesting to read. This is the cover. I will definitely take a look at this. Oh, it's like a um, what is that called? Devotional. A devotional. <laughs> I am not Mennonite, which I mean, obviously, I'm not Mennonite. Do I look like a Mennonite? No. Not that there's anything wrong with Mennonite. I'm just saying I'm not, but I. I still think it's going to be an amazing book to read, right? Yeah. <sighs> we have a lot of Amish by us and some Mennonite. And they are always, seriously, the nicest people you ever see. They don't talk much to you because that's just who they are. But if you wave at them, they wave back and they're just the sweetest people. Oh, this one. I forgot about this. I'm so excited about this. Look at this. It says, My Crochet Journal. Oh, you guys. And it's got like... 
this like papers where you just fill out all the information about your project and the patterns and everything. I am gonna use this this year. Look at the beautiful book. Oh, Karen, you were so nice. I wanna give you a hug and if I get a chance to run into you, I'm gonna give you a hug because this was all so nice, wasn't it honey? Mm -hmm. I'm not sharing my candy with you, huh? She lives in Idaho. She lives in Idaho. I wanna go to Idaho. Mm -hmm. Do you have good potatoes there? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love potatoes. Okay. And I got a couple other packages and a receipt from the yarn garden. We don't want to talk about receipts. Okay. Okay. So this package came from PM Calvin. Let's see. There's usually a card in here. Ah, yes. There's a card. I remember this one. I remember. Okay. For starters, I just want to make sure I'm opening the carpet. It said, I got an alpaca so I could give you a beautiful sweater for your birthday. See the little alpaca? Isn't he cute? You open it up and says, but apparently they don't know how to knit. <laughs> so happy birthday anyways from Paulette M. Calvin. Thank you so much. She wrote like a, a cute little thing to me, but thank you so much. She made me this little bunny ring. Isn't this cute? And this little like Easter basket with a teeny weeny little crocheted bunny in it. Isn't that the cutest? I'm going to let you know right now, my daughter's been eyeballing these since I opened the envelope. <laughs> so here you go, princess. You can play with these, but don't lose them. Aren't they adorable? Such a good job, Paulette. I love it. I can't do like little stuff like that. It would kill me. And then she also sent me, don't lose them though, but you can play with them for a minute. She sent me these. Paulette, I love you. These are hilarious, like hilariously awesome. Don't get me wrong. But these are massive for my head. Look at these. Stunning earrings. Let's see if I can use the back of this card. Look at these guys. Is it going to focus on them? There we go, kind of. They are giant pineapples. They're giant, you guys. I love them. They'll go, but they will go perfect with my pineapple outfit I wore to Michigan Fiber Festival last year. Let's see, get the back in there. Can you guys see them? Are they too big for me or are they just the right size of pineapple? What do you think, honey? I think I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Pineapple is not one to stand out and be flashy. So these earrings might be a bit much for him. Well, he doesn't have to wear them, but look, do they look good, you guys? Can you see them? I love them. Thank you so much. Okay, that was this one. That was from Paulette. And then I got a little package here from Christina. Christina Massey. You know, I, I'm, I'm really always afraid I'm going to say your guys' names horribly, horribly, horribly wrong. Ooh, did I even undo this? I did not. Because I saw it. I need scissors. <laughs> Hold on, guys. My scissors are behind me. Teeny weeny. Little bitty scissors. Chop, 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 chop. Okay. So, first off, she sent me a happy birthday card. Uh, okay. Let me read this real quick. Oh, yes. I forgot. What did I say? Christina? Yes, Christina. I met Christina at YarnCon and I was chit-chatting with her and I ended up sending her a yarn pattern and she loved it so, so much. Um, you guys can find her on Instagram as sissycmb37. So S-I-S-S-Y-C-M-B-37 or on Facebook at, at H-O-T-H Crochet Designs. So definitely check her out. I'll put that there. I'll try to link her. It looks like she makes stitch markers. I should have just, <laughs> I like skimmed it. Yes, she started making stitch markers. Gosh, I'm sorry guys. It's late at night like it always is when I'm doing anything because I'm not a grown up at all. I don't do stuff at a regular time. <laughs> so she made, oh my goodness, she made the cutest stitch markers. Okay. We're gonna use this orange as a backdrop. So these ones here are just little bobblies. Aren't those adorable? And then look, this one is, oh gosh, I'm dropping them all. Hold on. This one's an H and a LOM or an alpaca. This one says number one, which is so cute. Is that showing up okay? Yes, it is. And then I think there's one more I didn't show, which I'm super excited about. It's a little camper, you guys. Is it focusing? It's not, there it is. It's a little bitty camper. I love it so much. Oh my goodness, these are amazing. And they've got all the, like I didn't show, but 
my camera is being crazy they've got like the letters of the hook you're using so you can put it out. oh and i missed a pineapple there was a pineapple of course there's a pineapple that's the best you hear my kids arguing about whether they should be quiet <laughs> my youngest is yelling for his sister and she's like shut up mom's podcasting which like don't tell your brother to shut up that's not polite <sighs> That's how it is on the proper pineapple, you guys. Christina, thank you so much. I love these. These are going into my special little, um, I have a special little container where all my favorite ones are. Oh, now I know this is a cheat. Okay. And I got something from Nancy Gerst, and it said right on it, Happy Mail, which made me all excited because Happy Mail. She sent me a wonderful little card. It was pink, and it's got little dragonflies on it. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, and she has a, let me read this. She has a YouTube channel, I think. I guess she has a YouTube channel. And maybe something else. But here's the name of her YouTube channel. Let me set that card over with the other ones. I'll put this up there. So you guys can get all the information. There you go. So go check her out. And she sent me, there I am. It's getting dark, so it's not wanting to focus. She sent me a beautiful skein from Lolo Did It. Isn't this stunning? It's like hot pink with orange and blue. Right there. Isn't that really crazy? This beautiful, it is a worsted weight from Lolo Did It. It is 100% superwash merino. It's 100 grams for 218 yarns. But isn't this totally me? I love this so much. Thank you so much. You guys definitely, one more time. Let's get it to focus. There we are. Go check her out. Okay, guys? Yep, yep. She is so much fun. Look at this. Eee, love it. Thank you guys for all the gifts you have sent me. Um, I did technically get one more gift, but it goes into the very last thing I want to talk about because this podcast was just ridiculously long. So for the Mystery Cal, I did get a couple prizes. I'm going to throw in a skein of yarn, um, but I got two bags donated, and one of them came from Deb at Heavenly Textiles. Whoop. My kids stuck coloring pages in that bag too. <laughs> so that happens when you have a five year old. <clears throat> she sent this wonderful tote here with this beautiful embroidered llama alpaca on it. Isn't this beautiful? This is going to be one of the prizes. This bag has pockets and everything in it. I don't know if you could see. Trust me, there's pockets in it. So that is gonna be one of the prizes with a skein of yarn. We'll go along with that too. And the other one came from my totally new best friend <laughs> who lives all the way in Australia, Laura. Oh my goodness, Laura. I love her. She, okay. First you guys have to, check. she runs a, um, she makes bags and they are called, it's from, I want to say right, Home Fire Ridge. I will link it down below and they're stunning. The bags are stunning. Down. Huh? You better write it down. I don't need to write it down. I've got it right here in my hand. It's going to go in the pile. It will be there. I promise. And she sent it back, and she actually sent one for me for my birthday, too. They are stunning. She also does great stuff. She did my cow, and I've already looked at it, and hers is gorgeous. But, okay, not that everybody else isn't gorgeous, too. She, so she sent one back for me and one for the giveaway. I will show the one I chose to keep first. It, it, and each bag comes with one of her pins that says Home Fire Ridge and a couple of stitch markers. Let me show you those real quick. It's kind of hard to see the button, but you get those. And then this is the bag. You guys, look at these stunning... I guess I should have held it there. I haven't even taken it out of the plastic, but I've decided to keep this one. So I can take it out of the plastic now. I'm not going to throw it because it's got my button on it. <laughs> Normally I throw the crinkle. But look at this bag, you guys. With the stunning, colorful feathers. And then look, it's got... I'm guessing like a little... It's like a little logo pin here, or a little like, it's like a house out in the country. I don't know if you can see that very well. So, so cute. Got a name go. tag on it too. Yep, no. um, definitely has her name tag. Where's the name tag? Down, right the down here, yes. Right down here. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just looking at the bag. It's so, so pretty. So it's got her name tag on it. Hopefully that's picking up good. It is a canvas bottom. The inside is just this beautiful white color. It is a, a giant sized. I could definitely work some awesome projects in this bag. And I love it so, so much. Ugh, I just wanted to leave it in the plastic and look at it. But now that it's out of the plastic, I just want to fill it with yarn and love it. <laughs> so 
I love this so much, Laura. Thank you so, so much. I love this. I can't even bring myself to use it. It's so pretty. Actually, that's not true. I'm going to use it in a minute. I'm going to fill this fully arm. But anyways, I love it. My button's going to go on my button and my stitch markers in my stitch marker. I'm going to set this like right here so we can see it. And now I will show you the one that is for the giveaway, the other to the other bag. Because one will go to the Ravelry winner, one will go to the Instagram winner. So, and you guys will be like, why didn't you pick this bag, Holly, as soon as you see it? I know you're going to say it. But then I thought to myself, no, my viewers are going to love this. So let's give them this stunning llama bag. Look at this, you guys. Look at the llamas. Aren't they hilariously cute? Oh, and look, you get another one of her buttons with the stitch markers and this gorgeous llama bag. And I know I, I thought since one is going to be getting this stunning llama bag, somebody else should get this stunning llama bag. So there we go, my stunning llamas. And you guys, you have to go check out her Etsy store. Her bags are stunning. My hair is stuck to my giant pineapple earrings. So sorry. Let's get that undone. There we go. So you can see those beauties. Do they look good? I like them. You have to go check out her store. You have to go check out everybody's store that I told you guys about. And let me check my little bucket of stuff. That is it. Whew. This podcast is like an hour long. I am so sorry, you guys. I am going to be ever diligent and stay on top of things to make sure that my podcasts don't get this long ever again. But I think I've covered everything. Let me get my list. I did. So stay tuned for in a day or two. You will see who won these stunning bags and the yarn that will come along with them. And then obviously stay tuned for the winner of the birthday giveaway. And look forward to the 15,000 subscriber giveaway. And all of the crazy stuff that I have planned for the rest of this year. It's going to be a blast. So I'm going to get out of here now, guys. Bye.